Now, I've already reviewed the Dell XPS 13 9310 with that Full HD Plus resolution, the IPS display, 11th gen Tiger Lake processor. If you didn't catch that video, link will be in the description below for you to check it out. Now, Dell just sent me the updated version that takes it to another level. You can now get the Dell XPS 13 9310 with a gorgeous, stunning OLED display. And when I tell you it's gorgeous, it is absolutely gorgeous. It retains that 16 to 10 aspect ratio. You also can get this with the Core i7 1185G7. And that's exactly what Dell sent me. We're gonna check it out right now. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the Dell XPS 13 9310 with a stunning OLED 3.5K display. Coming up. And as we take a look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Dell is not getting copy approval. They're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. This review unit was provided by Dell. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing for the OLED model comes in at $1699.99. That's the price as tested with my review unit sent by Dell. I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. Now, there's a couple of changes regarding the 9310 this time around that I didn't have last time. Of course, the OLED display option is one. And the second thing is they sent me one with the Core i7 1185G7, a step up above the 1165G7 that we already took a look at. Now, I've already reviewed the Dell XPS 139310. I unboxed it. I did my full review. Links for those videos will be in the description below. So I won't bore you with those here right now. What I will focus on is something new, the panel. The display is now an OLED panel. It's the first time we get a 13.4 inch display with an OLED panel and a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. This is a 3.5K display with a resolution of 3456 by 2160. This Infinity Edge Touch display also has an anti-reflective coating to reduce glare and reflections. And Dell claims this will get up to 400 nits in terms of brightness. Now, without a doubt, this is probably one of the best displays I've ever seen. It has all the hallmarks of an OLED display, the really deep blacks, the really vibrant colors that pop off the display, the high contrast, and it just simply is spectacular. And not surprisingly, with an OLED display, you don't get the most color accurate that I've seen, but it is pretty color accurate nonetheless, and it does cover the color gamut really well with a 92% sRGB, 71% Adobe RGB, 71% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut, and 65% NTSC, making this an excellent choice for content creators to do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. Now, this is also an HDR Dolby Vision display. What that means is watching HDR content on this high dynamic range content is simply out of this world. All I can say, it is stunning. Watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube is really enjoyable, especially on this high caliber display. Now, this is also a touch display. That means you can use your finger to navigate through the OS and the responsiveness was really good, very smooth and fluid. And for those wondering, here it is next to the Full HD Plus model. That was the one I reviewed a few months back, and that has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Of course, same body, same everything on that laptop, just a lower resolution. It's also excellent in its own right. It's an IPS panel, and check out my video on that. Again, link in the description below. It is simply spectacular. But this OLED panel, to me, takes it to another level. Now, it's hard to show it on a video. You need to see this in real life, that OLED panel really Really pops. And here it is next to the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 that I just took a look at. Now that has a Super AMOLED display, but that has a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080. And that means that it has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, which contrasts from the 16 to 10 aspect ratio and higher resolution of this display on the Dell XPS 9310, that OLED display. So this is the front-facing webcam on the Dell XPS 13 9310 with this absolutely stunning OLED display with a 3.5K resolution. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you'll see it obviously in this video, but it's hard to show it in a video just how gorgeous it is. You really need to see it in, 
in real life. It is simply stunning. Now this is a 720p, 30 frames per second webcam. Uh, I guess it's good for Zoom and it's good for Skype. It's a Windows Hello camera. That means you can log in with face recognition. It's an infrared camera. And I really think this is a good feature, of course, to have. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the quality of the video? What do you think about the quality of the audio of these internal mics? I am curious to know. Now, I was a little worried when it comes to battery life with the OLED panel. Maybe it wouldn't do so great. Other OLED panels didn't do so hot in this category. Well, actually did pretty well. Eight hours and 44 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. So you're looking anywhere from six to eight hours, depending on what you're doing in terms of mixed use. And that's not too bad for an OLED panel, especially of this caliber. And performance was marginally better over the core i7 1165G7. This 1185G7 showed some pretty good numbers, especially when it comes to the integrated XE graphics. It did really well. And that's not surprising. These are the numbers we've been seeing as of late. That's pretty good. Now, as far as the exterior is concerned, as I mentioned earlier, nothing has changed. You still get that frost exterior with that Arctic white interior. And I got to say, it looks stunning. And in my opinion, I absolutely love this color on this laptop. Now, you could also get it with the traditional colors we've seen with the silver and the carbon fiber deck on the interior. We've seen that one before, but I really like this white one. It looks really classy and it looks sleek and modern. Now, as I mentioned in my review a few months back, this doesn't have many ports. You get two Thunderbolt 4 ports. That allows you to drive multiple 4K monitors. It also allows you to drive one 8K monitor as well. Now, I like the fact that the ports are located on opposite sides of each other. That's great when you want to charge something and you want to connect to a peripheral. But I would have liked to have seen at least a USB-A port. That would have been great. That's not something we get on this laptop. But the good news is you do get a micro SD card reader located on the left side. Let's not forget that. Now this OLED touch model weighs 2.8 pounds or 1.27 kilograms. Definitely light enough and portable enough to take with you on the go to throw it in your bag. It really is portable. I like that. Now I did open up this laptop in my review video. So again, if you didn't check it out, link will be in the description below. But once inside, you'll notice the two fans for cooling and you'll notice the 52 watt hour battery that we discussed. And you'll notice that the only thing that is user upgradable is the SSD. Although you get some excellent reads and writes as you can see from these results. But unfortunately the RAM is soldered into the motherboard. You can't upgrade that. And of course the Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth card are also soldered in, won't be upgradable down the road. And the keyboard is working really well. I like typing on this. Good tactile feedback, decent key travel, and it also has a multi-stage backlight, of course, allowing you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. Now, that glass precision touchpad is very responsive. Two-finger scrolling is buttery smooth, and all the gestures work as you'd expect. Okay, let's bring it all home. I think Dell has taken an already great laptop and made it even better, taking it to another level with that OLED option. It really is that stunning and it's something you need to see in real life. Very hard to project onto a video just how good that OLED display is. Everything else is pretty much the same. We get a little bit of a spec bump in terms of the Core i7 1185G7 and we saw a marginal improvement in the benchmarks, but nothing revolutionary and it really pretty much is all the same as we've seen before. I think Dell has taken an already great laptop and made it better with this OLED option. So what do you think about the Dell XPS 13 9310 with that OLED option? And I gotta say, simply stunning. Now it's not cheap at $1,700. You're gonna pay a little bit of a premium to get this 16 to 10 OLED display, 3.5K resolution. It is bright, it is sharp, it is stunning. Now I have the model with the Core i7 1185G7, a little bit of a bump over the 1165G7, a little bit better numbers, marginally better, not revolutionary better, but that's to be expected. The integrated Iris XE graphics are performing as we'd expect, really good integrated graphics as we've come to know. What do you think about this OLED option? Is it something you're interested in? I am curious to know. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.